hello coders how are you i hope you're doing well so welcome to the 13th part of the video now that we have already learned a mouse over on the buttons let's move to add text on the buttons so let's just start it we already are familiar that we are treating those rectangles as a button okay so we can add easily any type of event handling or functionality to these buttons okay so let's just focus mainly on the logic here like how we can add the text inside this button so we have to pay attention to one of these buttons let's let's say green button so in the previous videos i've already shared the, the x and y coordinates the width of the button so the height of the button so what exactly we have to pay attention here we have to draw the text if you'll see i have written the text in the center of the button start or instruction or quit every text is written on the center of the button so in order to start that we have to you know get the coordinates center coordinates of the button so if you'll see here the width of this button is 150 pixel so if we we'll divide by 2 we'll get the center of the width and the height is 50 pixels so if we we'll divide by 2 we will all we will also get the center of the height so ultimately it goes something like this like for the x coordinate is this 80 plus 150 by 2 and for the y coordinate 500 plus 50 by 2 so that is the thing see one more thing i wanted to tell you that as there are multiple buttons here so it's better to create a text object for all these buttons because every time we don't need to write a lengthy code for all the respective buttons so firstly we'll create a text object for that okay let's say okay sorry for that sorry for that okay so firstly we'll create a function which say suppose text object i already created it okay let's let's say text object will accept two argument first for the text and second the font which will be divined okay so let's say we'll create an object called text surface okay so like we know from our earlier videos that we need to form an image for the text that's how it happens in pygame so then only we can show this to the screen so we'll use the render method which is font dot render and we already know that font dot render method takes three arguments the text the anti-alias values you know responsible for the smooth or the blurry age and the third one is the text color okay so according to that we will say we will accept the text and then the anti-alias value will be true and the text color okay as of now we can see 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay and at the end we will return the text surface okay and text sorry text uh, surface dot get underscore rect okay so it, you must be thinking that what is this get rect method yeah so this method is used here to get the rectangular area of the surface like in simple word we use this method to get the rectangle area around our text and we can use it to position our text like we can use that that to position our the text which we are entering okay so now that we have created a text object let's jump to the intro loop and write the function where we have defined our green button first and then we can go with the other buttons so here let's just say small text object okay and we already know how to write the font in bygame so we have to call bygame dot font dot font okay as we are using as we are not using this font so we have to modify the font type let's say free sans bold if i am correct ttf and the size will be 20 okay then we will assign two variable text surface comma text rectangle to this function that you have defined text objects okay so first it accepts as it as you can see here first it accepts the text so text will be 
start okay and the font will we already defined as a small text so we'll pass it here okay now so now we have defined the text surface and the text rectangle okay here is the most important part as we have to draw the rectangle draw the text on the center so we have to call the text rect dot center okay and as i already showed in the starting of the video for x coordinate we have to say 80 plus 150 by 2 okay and uh, for y coordinate 500 plus 50 by 2 okay i hope yes it will work and uh, and i think one more bracket is left yep that's it and finally our blit method for showing on the screen so screen dot blit okay the text surface and the text rect okay save it and run the code okay yo so we can see the start text on the button and on the center of the button that is more important so yes we succeeded in that and i request you to do for the rest of the two buttons of course i will do for for you guys but uh, pause this video and do it on your own and then cross check with my code wherever you went wrong or something so just pause the video and then then do it so now you can cross check with my code where i applied for the instructions here and for the quit button which is here i hope you got it right okay or correct in case you are finding any trouble please let me know in the comment section so this is it after saving this code we'll get something like this yo start instructions and quit so that this is it this is it from this video next in the next video we'll discuss something more on this or more on the event handling on the buttons so till then keep coding and keep learning thank you guys